basically characters using the ASCII code. Now I'm going to type uh, ASCII. And Unicode. For example, the capital letter A ASCII code is 65. Sometimes you need to use code complex. Of course, you could type here, but if I'm looking for capital A, I could use the caret code. Okay. And after adding caret mark, you could type 65. Find next, find next. You see, it is working. But if I click here and press Alter Option X, the Unicode is 0041, and it is not working similar here, 0041. Allow me to bring it back, and if I start fine, nothing gonna find. Even the old method like adding U for Unicode is still not gonna work here. Also, it is not gonna work on the VBA, which I will mention on the future chapter, and it is important. Instead of that, you could simply type the code and then here press Alter Option X. Why it is useful? Because as an example, if I type colon and round bracket, even if I press Alter Option X here, you won't see the Unicode. But I could copy that, select Control or Command C, paste here, and if I press Alter Option X here, you will see the code 1F68. So anytime, if I type that code here, 1F6CA and press Alter Option X, and now we have X is the same character, or better to say Unicode characters, and find it. Of course, it is not going to select because it's replacing with Windows uh, emojis, you know, Windows key and period. It is bringing that, and it's a bit different with regular characters. It is not a standard. But yet you could use this beneficial to using based on the ASCII or Unicode. So let's have another practice. If I go symbol and search anything, maybe Euro, the character of Unicode is 20AC. So I could type here 20AC and press Alter Option X. And to search it also, you could type it here 20. AC, Alter Option X, and start finding. 